What's up everybody? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. Another beautiful day, the sun's shining. It's kind of like how it was yesterday, it's just the wind. I noticed in yesterday's vlog when I was outside that my wind muff is still letting wind hit my microphone. I don't know, I just, I don't know what its issue is. It's in the right place and I just don't know why my wind muff is not working. Like every now and then it'll work and do its job, but then every now and then the wind will blow. But I think I noticed that when I face the wind, like for example, the wind is blowing this way, but if I turn, like turn this way, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear the wind. I think, I don't know if it's that way or the opposite way. But anyways, as you guys know in yesterday's vlog, we end up finding Milo coming out of our vent. He looked like he was sick, but, but it turned out he had a hurt leg. And we called Kathy, Kathy came here. She said that his leg looks fine. That looks like he maybe just sprained it because he's still eating, he's still drinking water, and he puts pressure on it, but he just holds it up. Jen feels like there's something else that's actually wrong with him. It's not just a sprain. She thinks that there's something else wrong with him. We're gonna try to call up some vets, ask them like what their prices are, and what the lowest price. So far we called one yesterday and they wanted $117 up front. And then after that we can work out a payment plan. Another one, they didn't open until six o'clock in the evening and we called them and they wanted $150 up front. But we're going to end up calling more vets today, see if there's anything that we could find that's cheaper. But if we could find one that's cheaper, that would be awesome. But if we can't find one that's cheaper than $117, then we'll just go with the $117. It just sucks that we don't really have the money. I think I have like $60 to my name right now because we had to pay off bills, we had to help with rent, we pay our phone bills. And I'm not the type of person, I, I hate asking people for help. I feel so bad when people send me stuff in the mail. Like, I feel so bad. I feel like you guys want to send me stuff or send Jen anything in the mail, but I just feel super bad because growing up, I was always told that if somebody gives you something, you should do something back. And it's like, how, what do I do back? Like, what? I just feel super bad. I hate that it's windy because I don't even know if I'm facing the right way. I don't know if you're going to be hearing me and also hearing the wind go and I know there's a lot of people that would love to help. It's just, I feel so bad if I have to come on here and like, oh, we got, we need help. You know, we need money to take care of our pets. It's not even like, Milo is our pet, but look at all these cats. <laughs> look at all of them. We're kind of like the people that just takes care of the cats around the trailer park. because There's so many cats. And there was some kids yesterday. I didn't get to record it, but they came up to me when I was outside and they came up and said, your cats are getting up underneath our trailer and tearing it up. I'm like, we're not the only ones that have cats. There's people all the way down there on the, the other side of the trailer park that has tons of cats. We just take care of the cats and the cats know that we have food here. So they stay around this area because they know that we feed them. Yes, I understand that, you know, Olom and Spice and Boots and Sugar are ours because Grace had them. So yes, I understand that these are basically our cats, which we're trying to find homes for. It's just really hard to find homes for cats because not a lot of people want cats. Now, maybe if they were baby babies, but even when we posted them as babies, nobody commented, nobody wanted any. Cats are really hard to get rid of and find homes for. And now that all the other cats outside are pregnant as well, so there's gonna be more cats, and I'm just like, I don't want everybody thinking that we own all these cats. We take care of them outside. The ones that come in the house is the ones we do claim they were Grace's babies. If we didn't have all these cats, the only cats we would have is Milo, Grace, and Oreo. That's the only cats we would have. Like, I really love the cats outside. Like, like Smokey. She's so adorable. She's so sweet. Like, look at her. She's so sweet. We're not going to be these type of people that like, oh, we're only going to feed our cats. We're not going to feed the outside cats or any other cats. No, we're not like that. We're going to feed the cats because we know how it is. We know how it feels to go hungry and we don't want to see other animals going hungry. So I know a lot of people is going to be hating saying, oh, well, picked up a dog and took it to vet and everything because we didn't know whose dog it was. We seen it was actually hurt and we wanted to take it to the vet because if it had a chip, they could find out who the owner was. Well, right now, we don't have the money that we could just take Milo to the vet, but we're trying to find the cheapest one. So please, if there's anybody, just 
waiting to hate on us on about anything. I mean, you can hate all you want, but we're trying to do the best we can do. Right now he's fine. He's eating, he's still drinking. He's seeming like his normal self. He just has the limp. And here's Milo. Hi. He slept in his bed at all night last night. Yeah, you did. Oh, it looks like he grabbed my hand to hug me. Oh, how you feeling today, Milo? Huh? This foot's not as swollen. It's not? No, it actually went down. Oh yeah, it definitely looks better. Probably where he's been relaxing and not stressing himself out. It doesn't look as swollen. It's still a little swollen, but I think he's also like, ooh, attention. He's like, like, I wouldn't give you attention if you would've just came in. He's like, I, I'm gonna start getting hurt a lot more. Get all this love and attention. We even gave him canned food. Yeah, we're just spoiling the Milo. Yeah, we are. Oh, thank you for the love bites. What? I told him that we were calling like different vets and to figure out which one was the cheapest. And so far, I think the cheapest one we've had so far is the 117? 105. Oh, 105. What? What? Come here. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, it's definitely not as swelled as it was. I oh, know. It hurts. I know. But Kathy was saying that he could have sprained his hip. And where his hips connected to his back, and he might have just bruised his bones and stuff. Because he puts pressure on it when he tries to walk. Yeah. <coughs> what? We're going to get you some food today. We got to get all the cats some food today. <laughs> He's like, right now. Give me food right now. Are you hungry, Milo? <coughs> you are? What do you want to eat? If it was dislocated or something like... Look, I'm putting pressure on it. That and he wouldn't be able to lay on it. What? Like, look, I'm putting pressure when I'm petting him. So, I mean, I mean, Kathy might be right that she, he just might have sprained it because he likes to fight. <coughs> yeah. You fighter. We always told him that every time he fights, he's going to end up getting hurt. <coughs> yes, we did. We always told you. Yeah, you're a good boy, though. I don't know, I just... Yeah, I told him that you feel like there's something else wrong, not just the spring, but... We looked up everything, and if it was, like, out of place or anything, if we touched it, even doing this, would he would be in pain. And just... look, he's laying on it right now. I don't know, I just... It doesn't look as swollen, but I just... I would like to go to the vet just to make sure, but... Unfortunately, right this second... Every time I say the word vet, too, it's like he knows. As you guys know, I have these cards. Kind of like inspirational type quote things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle it up and I'm going to pick two cards. But I'm going to use my favorite number, number five. So I'm going to count out five cards and whatever lands on five is the card it's going to be. But I'm going to do two. Whatever cards these are is what you and me have to work on today. Shuffling them up now. Not very good at shuffling, but one, two, three, four, number five. Set that to the side and we'll shuffle it again. What do we need to work on today? One, two, three, four, number five. We need to put these together. Let's see what these cards that we're supposed to work on today. Forgive yourself. So whatever that is, something that you have done bad or anything or something you just feel bad for, forgive yourself. I am peaceful and one with the earth. Be more peaceful and be more open-minded. Forgive yourself and be more peaceful. We both have to work on that. So I was just looking around on it and I was making sure he didn't like have any thorns or anything on the bottom of his feet that could be bothering him. But we found this mysterious sore inside of his leg. So we're thinking that maybe he got bit 
and that's what's bothering him. Every time we touch that part where the sore is, that's when he starts meowing. He's laying right now on the leg. If it was really hurting him, like if it was out of place or something, he wouldn't be able to just lay on it like that. It would be too much in pain. I'm gonna get your tail, Milo. I'm gonna get your tail. I'm getting your tail. The swelling just went down on his foot. Because his foot was swelled yesterday. No. See, so he's moving it. Yeah, he just did a little leg stretch. I pulled out both of his legs, and uh, one of the things said that if they have a dislocated hip, that if you pull out both of their legs, the one that's dislocated would be shorter, or it would be shorter than the rest because of the fact that it's dislocated and it's up. Mm -hmm. Both of his legs were the same size, like the same length. Just hoping that maybe that's what it is, is a sore. What I'm thinking is that where he got into a fight, whatever he was fighting with, which more likely probably been another cat, like was biting his leg. And when he tried to jump up to get away, they had a hold of his leg and like maybe they twist it. And then like the teeth got snagged in his leg and made a big sore. And I mean, that could make you in pain. That's what I'm thinking, that it could have been. Hi guys, we'll have to go out and get your food. Yeah, we have to go get you some food. I will be back and we can feed you. How are you feeling today? Better than I was the other day. You look a lot better. You're not as pale. Like you're still pale a little bit, but not as bad you as you was. I still have a headache. And I've had a headache, I swear to you, for like four days. I'm gonna see if I can get some Excedrin today. So I think it's like a sinus headache, but it's just not going away. Anything I take, the ibuprofen, anything. The last two days, it was worse. Today it's a slight headache, but I think it's allergies and sinuses and... I wore this jacket because I thought it was cold out. Earlier when I went out to start the vlog, the wind is, is what's cold. I don't really feel the wind as much now. That's why I wore this hoodie, but I can always take it off if I get too hot. I found something that actually helps for my runny nose when I, every time I eat, I get this runny nose and my nose just starts running every time I eat anything. What helps me is, is it Claritin? I mean, it's off-brand Claritin. It's all day allergy relief. All day allergy relief. It's been helping me. So if you guys have that issue, definitely try these. I just don't want no one in the comments saying I'm a bad cat mom because I know who Milo is. Technically, he was a random cat that we found. I think almost two years ago to three years ago. He just showed up one day and I looked at Shane and I was like, I want to pet that cat. You remember that? I yeah. Think it might be in the vlog. Yeah, I think it's in one of the vlogs. I said, who is that? And then you were like, I don't know, I've never seen that cat before. And I was like, I want to pet it. Like, he let me pet him. And I think it was the when we were just going to try to do mukbangs or whatever, because that's when it was real popular. We went out and got the taco nacho box something. I don't know, it's like nachos, and it's like a taco made on top of the nachos. Yeah. Something like that. We came back, and he was still here. And he followed us to the backyard because we sat outside in the backyard. I fed him some lettuce, some taco meat. Then he literally came inside with us. He opened up the door after that and came right inside. And you were going to name him Tippy. The tip of his tail was white, so I wanted to call him Tippy. And I looked at you and I was like, he does not look like a Tippy to me. <laughs> and then I just looked at his sweet little innocent face. He was so tiny and so... I, I have a picture on my Instagram. I'll find it while we're at Walmart. And I will find it and I will show you guys what he looked like when I first met Milo. I'm pretty sure I will find the date too when I find the picture. I'll find when I found him. He's an inside outside cat now. He loves to be outside. You guys seen Milo a couple times in the vlogs. I just don't have the money right now to get him to the vet. Because it's just $105 for the emergency part. That's not including anything else that he needs. If x-rays or if this or that. That's just to get him seen is $105. It's the cheapest one I've found so far. But he's eating, and if I would be more worried if he wasn't eating, if he wasn't trying to put more pressure on it. I have done so much research, and I have been around cats, obviously, my whole life because I've lived out in the country part, and people used to drop off their cats. You know where I used to live? Yeah. Um, people used to drop cats and dogs and everything else out to us, not because, like, we wanted them, because we're trying to get rid of them and they just drop them. So we took it upon our field. We have done this for years, feeding random cats. We have bought so much cat food and like they're out of food. Everybody's out of food right now. So I'm going to the store and getting them some cat food. I have enough money for cat food. I just don't have 105 bucks just to get them seen. The cheapest one told me that I could make a payment plan depending on 
what the vet says. And I'm like, okay, is there any way that we can get a payment plan before so I can get him seen? And there's there, no one's having it. And I don't want to really surrender him because of the fact that he's my cat. I don't want to surrender him because I feel like it should be my responsibility since he is, I could technically claim him. Yeah. I've had collars on him a thousand times, but he gets into fights. It's always a breakaway collar because of the fact that I don't want him. Bless you. Bless you. I just took an allergy pill too. <laughs> literally just took an allergy pill. He runs underneath the trailer and climbs trees. I don't want him to snag himself and hook himself and like hang himself. So it's always a breakaway collar. So he always loses his collars. Literally the last collar we just put on him, that piece one, where hell did it go? <laughs> I found it once because it was laying out on the driveway. But the, the second time, I, I don't know where it's at. I, I have yeah, no he idea. he just does not like collars. <laughs> But he, he runs up and down the trailer park. He always comes back. I could have swore I saw him just the other day. You say that you have him, but I swear I was on WoW. The way WoW's setting right now, I could look out the window and there was a bunch of cats playing in the hole over there. Yeah. And I could have swore I saw Milo. Maybe it was a different cat. I have no idea. I know there's going to be haters in there that tell me that, oh, I'll take a random dog. Okay, well, the random dog had labor breathing and it had blood from his mouth obviously if milo was like that and if i knew he wasn't eating wasn't drinking i would definitely 100 percent be like help this cat i cannot afford it please help him i 100 a hundred thousand percent i would give up my cat everything that i have read online i stretched out his legs they are not uneven we found a sore on him and it looks like the something had got a hold of him and that's why he's limping I, I have done everything I can do online. I even went to ask a vet online. I've asked her all kinds of questions. She has told me that if he's eating and drinking, that's the good part, but to try to get him into a vet because he is limping, but he should be okay. Trust me, my cat mom heart is like, I need to get him into the doctor. I need to. I cannot until about a week. If he's still lumping, I could get him in there in about a week. There's nothing else I could do. Unless you want to donate to my cash app, go ahead, donate to my cash app. It'll be right here if you want to donate. There's nothing else I could do right now. I was thinking, like they took over him. When they put him out to adopt, couldn't we just adopt him back? Yes, but I don't know how their adoption thing goes. Oh. I don't know who they give him to. I think they go to the animal shelter in Lawrence County, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how that works. And if I'm the one who surrendered him, I can't I show see my me. face and be like, oh, I want to adopt my cat back. Well, I don't see why you couldn't do that. Like, I don't understand why you couldn't be able to do that. I don't see why I couldn't either. Unless we had your mom go in and adopt Milo and I don't, I don't know. know. I was just thinking of that last night. I was like, what if we did, you know, turn him in and then come out for adoption and we just go and adopt him back. But like you said, I didn't even think of how do they even adopt and I have no idea. I know that I've seen a couple things that like they go to the animal shelter and they're trying to be adopted out but I, I don't know i don't know how that works but the vet said online as long as he's eating and drinking he's not acting abnormally he's just got a hurt foot yeah he's really not he acts like milo the first thing he did was come in and he and drink yeah and then he went into this little spot and he sprayed and i was like even when you have a sore leg you're spraying <laughs> and then he went over to the litter box and used the litter box so he's bathroom i have not seen him have diarrhea and where we found that sword on his leg i think that maybe that's what's hurting him and it's just whatever had a hold of him he tried to get away and he like they twisted his leg it kind of like bruised up his leg or something i don't know i have but, looked at hip dislocation videos i've watched a vet online of hip dislocation and you could visibly see like when they pulled the, the cat was asleep but when you pull down the legs you can visibly see one shorter because of the fact that it's just yeah and i've seen it too and they were both the same size they're the same length to my knowledge i don't feel like it's a hip dislocation i feel like that little sore that we found because i found it last night he would not let me look at it though yeah that was my problem i was like i need to see what this is my hello i need to look at it i'm sorry it just looks like somebody or something has got a hold of his leg and it's a sore leg and he that's why he's pulling it up and limping on it not because of the fact that his hip is hurt, I think that that spot on his leg is hurt. Yeah. So I'm gonna wrap it tonight and see if he'll let me, I don't know if he's gonna let me wrap it, but I'm gonna wrap that little spot. I'm not gonna put it tight and see if he'll let me 
have a hold of it to see if that would help them. I know that there's probably going to be some people that say, oh, well, if you don't have the, the money to take your pet to the vet, then you shouldn't have animals, which I know we said Trust that too. Trust me, I don't want all these cats. Someone like, come take <laughs> them. I have, I'm going to post them on, hopefully, cross your fingers, I'm going to post them on Craigslist and find them good homes because I don't want all these cats. The only cats that we really, really want is Grace and Oreo and Viola. Yeah, that's what I said this morning. I know we said that, you know, you shouldn't have an animal if you can't have the vet, but we never really expected for our pets to get hurt. Like, we take care of the outside cats because they're the wild cats and, and stray cats. And don't want to even let you touch and them. And we never really thought of our pets actually getting hurt, which I know they can ha it can happen, but we have the money to take care of the cats. It's just, right I mean, now, it was just kind of random, and we only have like $60. And right now, we're taking that money and going to buy cat food. They need cat food. We can't just let them starve. And then we'll get more hate because we're starving our cats. We're kind of like in dilemma right now. We do have the money to take care of our animals, so please don't hate on us. We're just trying to figure out I've we're in a situation right now. We I have called every place. I have done everything that I can do right this second. Like I said, if he was if he was actually physically not eating, not drinking, he was bleeding, he, he was like not acting like Milo, I 110% would hand him completely over. I even thought about just going ahead and surrendering him, but I feel like a bad cat mom because like he came right to us. He's like, help me. I have looked at him, I have checked him, he ate, he's drinking. He literally just ate and drank before I left. At Walmart and at the pet store, there should be some things like antibiotics, like over the counter antibiotics for them. Yeah. I'm going to look there too and see if I can get him some antibiotics. I'm exhausting all resources right now and there's some things that are out of our control. But if he was visibly not acting like Milo, I 110% would surrender him. I stopped here at Sheets and there's this lady sitting there and she has this like whole buggy full of cans. I have this can in the car, so I was thinking about taking it to her and asking her like if she's collecting cans, here's, here's an extra can to go with her collection. I know a lot of people collect cans and stuff to get money. I know it's not much, but it might help. <laughs> if we had more cans, I would give it to her, but she's a Look at all the cans that she has. It keeps wanting to be blurry and not focus. It keeps just wanting to focus on the window. Gave the lady the can. I went up to her, I was like, hey, I see you're collecting cans with like an extra can. I know it's not much, but she was like, yeah, thank you. Every every can counts. And I was like, I know, it definitely does. I know, I used to go around with picking up cans and saving up money. It's a good, easy way to make money. So if you guys ever get those 24 packs of cans and you want a little bit of extra money, just collect cans, take them into the junkyard. It might not be much, but you at least get maybe get like three to five dollars out, depending how much cans you get. But also, if you squish the cans, the more weight they are. I used to squish them all the time and take them in, and I saved up so much money. I saved up to almost a thousand dollars. I don't know if we ever did it. We used to put pebbles in ours. <laughs> well, I'll be like walking down down the country roads, and there'll be cans like inside the creek that had mud and everything. I just kept it on there. I'd be like, I don't care. More weight. The more weight, don't actually do it on purpose because if you get caught, you can actually get in trouble for it. I seen that lady hide a whole buggy full of cans, so I was just like, I know it's not much, but it's one can that you can know add her to a collection. Where am well, I? Somebody has the weeds. I smell it. Somebody around here is the culprit. Well, we're supposed to meet Kathy here. She said she was somewhere around here in aisle five. She's not here. <laughs> we can't find Kathy. Like, how do they just disappear from that moment you just get off the phone and they just like, oh, they're here, let's run. <laughs> they're playing hide and seek in Walmart. <laughs> they're invisible. <laughs> There's no way they moved that fast. Oh, I'm inside. <laughs> oh, they're talking about the aisles outside? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, look at the Easter flowers. We thought she was all outside, outside, and I'm like, girl, I'm already inside. So the whole time we were just walking around looking for Kathy, and she's outside. <laughs> she said aisle five. I guess row five's over there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you don't seem too happy. I had a toothache last night. Put a little girl on it. Wouldn't help. Oh, cool. It's Baja Point Break Punch, and this one's Baja Laguna Lemonade. It's new. I'm gonna try it. A blast of natural or tropical punch flavor. This is Mango Lemonade. That poppy, that new soda. It's 
got apple cider vinegar is what it's made out of this. Maybe they have bottles or something of it. So do we so, I don't think so. But I now found my favorite one and it's this cinnamon roll one. It is so good. Get that in your bananas and you got your glaze and I'll get some then. I could eat all of those. Oh, me too. Do we need milk? Yes. We got some milk. Or April 3rd. Yeah. Do you need eggs? Ew. It's open. Somebody really wanted the fish. Jen, touch it. Jen, go touch that. Fill it. How much do you think this costs? It's five pounds of hamburger. It's 80 20. I'd say about $10. Try adding another 10 to that. 20? For this. Touch okay. it. Ew, it's open. Oh, so it's not open. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's not. It's vacuum sealed. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. It what? feels like. Oh, it felt like it was open. It's vacuum sealed. Oh, it looks See the like wrapper? it was open. I thought it was open. <laughs> Squishy. I'm obsessed with these things cheddar rice cake things, but they have like all kinds of different ones. They have apple cinnamon, caramel chocolate. I tried the cheese ones, which is my favorite. I've tried the caramel ones, and I bet you these are good, apple cinnamon. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, so. Like, I like chocolate, but I have to be in a mood for chocolate. Hell, not me. I can eat chocolate 24-7. <laughs> what do you think Jeff and his uh, birthday cake with them? Vanilla wafers or graham crackers? Either one would be good, because they got chocolate graham crackers, and they got regular graham crackers, and they got cinnamon graham crackers. I go with graham crackers. Graham crackers. <laughs> oh, so Where's Kathy's face is actually healing, except it's still dark right there. Yeah. This one keeps really bruising. Probably because it's trying to heal that knot. The knot's went down a lot. You got one right there and one right there that I feel. And there's one I have here. Oh, yeah, I feel one right there. Right my hairline. Jen wants me to smell this tree to see if these are the stinky ones. I don't know if they are. Ow, it shocked me. <laughs> they smell good. Wait, well, wait. They don't smell like nothing. No, I smell flowers. I don't know which ones is the ones that stink. I could have swore it was the dogwoods. Like I said, I don't even know if that's right. I want to take a picture of it though. What is the tree? It's a tree or a bug? I think it's a tree. But those are the ones that's in the cemetery. They smell really, really bad. So I had mom take a picture with one of them when I was into photography. And she's like, can I move yet? And I was like, hold on, hold on. And just a couple more. And she's like, this thing stinks. I could have swore those were it. Well, when you open up your door to just now, I smelled flowers. It just smelled like I was smelling nothing. Maybe but it tickled my nose, though. Maybe your sniffer's broken. My sniffer? Yeah, your sniffer. <laughs> hey, your sniffer. What do you call it? A nose. I'm not gonna say your nose is broken because your nose ain't broken. It's your sniffer. It looks like it's been broken, though. Your sniffer. Like, because <laughs> you're sniffing it. Your sniffer's broken. Your nose ain't broken. Your sniffer is. Say sniffer. Sniffer? Yeah, I keep saying it. Sniffer. 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 Sniffer, sniffer, sniffer. I don't like I don't know. I just don't like it. Your sniffer's broken. What? You don't like sniffer? It just makes me feel like I'm talking like hickish. Look, they know. They're just Yeah. We're getting it guys. Jen's gonna make you all feast. Yeah, we're gonna make you all feast. I ended up getting this black t-shirt because I ended up how losing my black t-shirt that I had that was solid black. And I got this and it's size extra large and it fits me perfectly. I went from size medium for my original size and now I'm wearing a size extra large. It's crazy. Y'all ready to eat? You are. There you go. Move. There y'all go. Look at all of them. Oh. Are you eating Milo? Told you we would get you some food. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to have my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.